Uh, just about retirement age, I returned to painting. Uh, I hadn't painted for a long time. I had made books. I have sewn canvases together. I have made jewelry. And I decided to put together a body of work about aging. And during that time, uh, I got an interesting direction to go in because I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And within uh, a couple of days of the diagnosis, I had a dream. The dream involved a snake who was wrapping itself around my, my arm. And I, I, I saw the snake and I was terrified and appalled and I threw it off and the snake burnt. And this is a painting of that. And uh, this became my theoretical painting. This is what it felt like to me to have a diagnosis of cancer before I was treated for the cancer. When I first conceived of this particular uh, painting called Port, I painted it and I conceived and painted it as a way of showing simply the flaws flaws in my body that age had wrought, the underarm flappies maybe, and maybe a little bit of the puffiness in here. It was kind of brave to see myself with so much reality. But then what happened is after I became a possession of the medical system, i.e. treatment, they inserted surgically a port in my chest that was actually right directly into my bloodstream. It was the most amazing object ever. And that was so that they could feed the chemicals into my body in such a way that it was safe. I don't know how in a million years you could give a person poison and say it's safe, but they, they felt strongly about that, so I acquiesced. And underneath I conceived of this cancer bug. I sort of made him up out of a number of drawings. And so the port became the biohazard symbol, which figured very highly in my paintings for a while at that time. And I guess there was something I wanted it to be sort of playful. And I wanted, believe it or not, I wanted the notion of port to also maybe represent water and cruising. So I enjoyed playing with those concepts when I made this painting. Okay, my name is Ruth Ross and I'm a painter and I'll be having a show in May called Invisible. Opening night is May 2nd and I look forward to seeing you there. Where's the show at, Ruth? <laughs> Gallery 114 in the Pearl. Okay. <laughs>